Good morning. Hello and welcome to the grand opening of our new town of Islip Animal Shelter and Adopt a Pet Center. Yay. Oh my God, we're so excited. So excited. We're so proud of this beautiful new facility and the team that made it all happen. And we're so excited uh, after this is all over, anyone who's available uh, to take a tour. Uh, but first, let me welcome our distinguished guest and uh, everyone that's here is very distinguished, but uh, let me particularly recognize Senator Phil Boyle. Uh, give him a wave, Phil, for anyone who. Uh, also, our New York State Assemblyman, Phil Ramos. Peter Scully is here from the, uh, he's Deputy Suffolk County Executive, who's been very helpful in moving us along with county approvals and et cetera. And Pete has a history with the town of Islip, worked as DEC Commissioner, and had the uh, dubious distinction of overseeing our uh, old animal shelter. <laughs> so he knows full well how important this was to finally get here. Um, also with us is uh, Jim Heil, who is uh, our previous uh, DEC commissioner who started us down this road. <laughs> and uh, well, cer certainly the team that helped make this happen, our town board, uh, who have been so supportive and so many of our residents. We had a number of issues uh, over the years and there was always this, this talk about the animal shelter being woefully inadequate. And uh, they heeded the call uh, and were very, very supportive. So I'm so pleased and honored to be joined by John Cochran, town councilman, town councilman Mary Kate Mullen, Town Councilman Jim O'Connor, and also someone who resides with us, with us in Town Hall, our town clerk, Olga Murray. The uh, original Town of Isop Animal Shelter on South Denver Avenue in Bayshore was built in 1964, so it was time. Uh, it served us well for so many, many years, providing a safe and nurturing space for dogs and cats and many other species until they were adopted into their forever home. And, you know, even though the environment was less than it should have been, I have to take this opportunity to thank the staff, Terry and her entire team at the animal shelter, who never, <laughs> never complained. They went about doing the good work that they do, never complaining. So it really makes it that much more special that we're able to deliver this incredible new facility to them. Uh, so it functioned, it was well, but like everything else, change was needed, technology changes, and there was no question that the time had come for a new town of Islip Animal Shelter. And none of this couldn't have been made possible without the support of our commissioner now, Marty Ballou. Marty, where are you? He's here. And as I mentioned, his predecessor, Jim Heil, um, also, New York State Senator Phil Boyle, who secured $500,000 in New York State grant funding <laughs> to our Commissioner of DPW and Parks, Tom Owens. He's back there. And the team of engineers, builders, plumbers, mechanics, um, HVAC and electrical workers. Um, and there's a whole sign of all of those folks listed, and you'll see that when you go inside. Um, also, the team from Agricultural Mar Markets and Suffolk County Health Department, and the town of Islip dedicated employees from all of the departments that were involved, the Department of Public Works, DEC, the Planning Department, and our Commissioner Ron Meyer is here. Uh, they helped to bring it all together, and I also want to give a shout out to Mia Knapp, who uh, is in the supervisor's office, and she was kind of like the go-between, making sure that all of these uh, hurdles were uh, taken care of. And, um, you know, we're joined here with other members of our wonderful team at the town of Islip who may not have been directly involved, but all along there at the town board meetings, they heard about the cry of, of the citizens and emotionally were very, very supportive to us. So I want to recognize the commissioner from the airport, Shelley LaRose La Arkin, her deputy, Rob Schneider, the gentleman who kind of keeps us focused on the finances, our controller, Joe Ludwig, 
who hates to part with a penny, but he knew we had to do this. And from our Department of Economic Development, John Walzer, <laughs> Foreign Trade Zone, Brad Hemingway, <laughs> Town Attorney's Office, J.R. DeCicio. Again, we dotted all those I's and crossed all those T's. So, uh, and uh, public safety plays a vital, vital role. Tony um, Prudenti, our commissioner, <laughs> and Richard Bastides, our deputy, and also from Parks, uh, De Deidre Wahlberg, the deputy commissioner of Parks. So if I missed anybody, I apologize, but you guys uh, and Caroline and her team in helping get the word out to the public, we are just so very, very grateful. So behind us stands this new animal shelter, 3,000 square feet larger than the original for a total of nearly 18,000 square feet. It is fully ADA compliant, which the other wasn't. It boasts high energy efficient lighting, 82 spa spacious kennels with an indoor outdoor experience, four viewing rooms, a veterinary suite, and so much more. And you will see that when you go inside for the tour. And we hope that you'll help spread the word and let your family and friends know that the new Town of Islip Animal Shelter is open, and if you're considering adopting a pet into this forever home, please come visit us and let us help you. Um, I would like to now introduce uh, Marty Ballou to say a few words. Marty. Thank you, Supervisor. Uh, some of what I'm gonna say might echo the Supervisor, but uh, you know, I really you know, appreciate it. Hold off the applause until later, because there's a lot of individuals I'd like to say thanks to. Starting with the design team and construction management team, we have Island Structures with Bill Schlumpf and Scott DiBerardino, who worked diligent on creating the design for this facility and working through the construction management. So thank you, uh, fellas. The four may, you know, this was a Wix Law uh, project, so we had four primes. So we have construction consultants with Eric Baumlach, uh Banker Electric, Don Fiore, Premier Mechanical, Rob Sanchez, and WHM plumbing, plumbing with Billy Moff. And I wanna just, even from the start of the project, where we called them all in and we did value engineering so they would streamline the project so to make sure that we were on the budget. And uh, they did an incredible job and the, the actual outcome of the facility is, is uh, top of the line, state of the art. And we really appreciate it. I also wanna give a special thanks to an individual that's on a well-deserved vacation down in Florida my chief engineer, uh, Tony Vericchio, who did a phenomenal job in coordinating the contractors and the agencies and the other counties and, and uh, the state, you know, to, to really finish the project. Now I'm moving to the department employees. I'd like to thank for, uh, first is Ken Moses, who did a lot of work behind the scenes, you know, to coordinate a lot of the uh, tedious issues that brings us to this day you know, aside from the contractor's work, you know, which would, you know, landscaping and various other items. I also like to uh, thank uh, a team of uh, Ken Weeks and Ray Schultz who did a lot of, uh, they were my go-to team, you know, to handle a lot of the code issues that came up along the project. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank Greg Hancock for uh, watching the budget on this great project and kept us in line. And I'd also like to th thank the recycling team, Joe Grillo and his staff. Thank you very much for all the work you guys did. They actually moved everybody in the other day. They actually did all the landscaping and various other items within the facility. So it's a credit to, to all you guys. <laughs> and I'd also like to thank Terry Jacalone and her staff at the Animal Shelter. First, for being patient because they- <laughs> They were. You know, we were building a facility and it was always, you know, uh, you know, when are we moving in? And uh, I'm a little uh, amiss that I didn't say. We started this project probably a month before COVID hit. So we worked all through COVID last year and this year. So that's a credit to all the contractors that they, they finished their work. And yes, we were delayed a little bit, but considering what happened, uh, we did a phenomenal job. Thank you. I also have a special thanks for uh, what I've labeled my resident artist, Megan, Megan O'Reilly, who created two uh, very impressive signs that everybody will see. One is an interactive sign that we'll be looking at shortly and a welcome sign that's in the hall. 
Uh, she's extremely creative, and we're very happy to have her. Now I'd like to just thank a few of the other city, uh, other town departments that helped us, especially uh, DPW, Tom Owens, Commissioner Tom Owens, and its uh, shine, sign shop, uh, Jen Drapel, that did a lot of work on, on the seal and everything else that's in the, in the building. We also have uh, Steve Cosen from the IT department that hooked up all the computers, you know, did an excellent job. We have the, you know, and I'll put them all together, we have the Department of Buildings, uh, Ron Myers, and Department of Planning, Michelle Basson, and town engineer, Chris Poker, who, uh, you know, worked with us all the way through the design and the construction. Uh, while maybe it was challenging at times, it all worked out and we have a, a tremendous finished product. And uh, I'd like to thank the uh, town's attorney office for our help with the other, with the Suffolk County Health Department with obtaining the final approval. You know, that's JR and Amy Murphy and Mia Knapp. In closing, all the individuals, uh, whether administrative, uh, regulatory, operational, consultants, contractors, subcontractors, tradespeople and laborers that had the opportunity, small or large, you know, to put their fingerprints on this project, you know, should be extremely proud today for the work that was accomplished. You know, I personally am very, uh, I'm, I'm very honored to be able to say that I was part of this project. And then finally, uh, Supervisor Angie Carpenter and the town board for their vision and commitment in making this investment for the future for the uh, town of Islip community for many years a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you so much, Marty, and uh, he epitomizes team effort because I forgot a few of the, the players and you recognize them, Chris and, and the others that I overlooked. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, now we want to hear from one of our benefactors, uh, a gentleman who represents us well in the New York State Senate, and that's Senator Phil Boyle. Phil? Thank you, Madam Supervisor, and to the entire town board. Thank you for your leadership. Um, I started in politics around here in the late 80s, and they were talking about building a new animal shelter then. <laughs> so through your leadership and uh, championing this cause, thank you for bringing us here today to the entire Islip Town team, the professionals, and also in the private sector, the architects, engineers who put this together. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to also uh, thank my colleague in government, Senator Phil, uh, Assemblyman Phil Ramos, uh, joining together. We were able to play a small part, get some funding to help build this facility. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of love here over the years, and it's great to think about the fact that when these dogs and cats and other pets come in, uh, we're going to hope that they're going to get adopted right away. But while they're waiting, they're going to have a great time. It's a beautiful facility. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Senator, and thank you for your assistance. And. Uh, Another one of our wonderful benefactors who cares so much about our communities has always been there for us, and that's our New York State Assemblyman, Phil Ramos. Phil? Thank you. I'd like to congratulate and thank uh, our town supervisor, the board, and everybody else who's involved in making this happen. This beautiful facility is just a, a yet another addition to the infrastructure of our community. And this is a prime example of how we see government working. We see the, the assembly, you know, our, my colleague here, uh, uh, Senator Phil Boyle humbly talked about how the Assembly and the Senate both contributed, but make no mistake about it, the driving force behind this funding item uh, was our Senator Boyle, who made that happen, and I, I want to thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, when uh, a few years ago, uh, my dog Rocky, little Chihuahua, had gotten lost, and I remember the stress that that caused my family, and we were upset, and we were trying to get a hold uh, of uh, Supervisor Carpenter, and. And I remember for an entire weekend, this was on a Friday, uh, what my family went through. I mean, we all know what, the, what our pets mean to us. They're, they're part of our family. They're in, in our heart when they, we're devastated when, when something happens to them. On that Monday, um, her dedicated staff went through all the animals that they had there, took photos of every chihuahua there, and lo and behold, texted us a, a photo of Rocky. And I, I wish the staff could have been there to see my family crying. At seeing, at seeing that photo and what you mean to everybody. So I want to thank you all for, for all the work that uh, you do. Supervisor Carpenter, you know, this is yet another example. It's, it's been a pleasure to work with her, uh, and she believes, as I do, that after elections we should put 
politics on the shelf and make sure that government work on uh, that we work on making government respond to the people. This is another prime of example of many in which that has happened. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Assemblyman, thank you for your kind words and uh, injecting a little bit of heart and humanity into our ceremony this morning. Um, so now we're going to cut the ribbon uh, and unveil this beautiful new animal shelter. And then please don't take off because we are going to have a parade of the pooches. And um, one more shout out to the animal advocates for all of the wonderful pets in our community who were steadfast in coming to the, legis uh, to, to the town board and uh, advocating for what we finally see here today. And members of the community, the Civic Council, the Fire Department, I see many representatives here and, and of this wonderful, wonderful community. And thank you. It's an exciting time to be a part of what's happening here in CI. And I'm, I'm standing here and I'm seeing all of the beautiful buildings, the new soccer facility that's there. And pretty soon we'll have the brand new DPW drive uh, ready to be driven on. Uh, we're almost there. And uh, again, let's get to the ribbon cutting. And one more, Mike Cahill, counsel to, uh, the, to Marty and, and everyone at the agency. Thank you so much. One, <laughs> two, three, cut it. Yay! Yay!